X1 and this video is not about a review of any BMW car I'm sure there are a lot of videos about reviews and all this is mainly about a guy who has never seen a BMW in his life and his first experience is that key to pleasure before starting I know the cost of the car is very important for everyone so the cost of the car on road is 40 lakhs here it is before I start to tell you about my first experience on this car, let's have a look around first. I have never ever been inside a BMW before. This is my first experience, let's see how it feels to be sitting in the driver's seat. Luxury. Luxury is the word comes to my mind as soon as I sit in this car. Now let's try to figure out, I have absolutely no idea about his, any of his control. Are you really captain? Let's try to figure out where is what. But let's start the air condition first and the car engine. Where to put the keys? Uh, I don't think, okay, I think there's no need to put the keys. You just start the engine. Fantastic! Oh. Engine is running. Air conditioning is good. Where is the blower? Yeah, air con, air con is running. Engine is on. Let's see the basic controls first. On my right, on the driver's seat, I have the center locking and unlock switches here. Then I obviously have these side mirrors control. I can adjust up, down right left that's a standard even my civic has that and all the seats windows up down here i have headlight controls in the daytime it will be difficult to see any difference but it's all led lights and very bright let's switch it off as soon as you start car engine you obviously have a drls here looks massive and looks super let's quickly go to the other controls this is the music system navigation system and i don't even know what other controls this will have that's enough <laughs> and this is the main lever for your parking reverse neutral drive and shift paddle shift you can always increase and reduce gears and drive it manually using these paddle shift one thing i have noticed is all the other cars have right and left indicators on right side but this one has it on the left side this in case you don't want to control this screen by touch. You can use these while you're driving. Storage here. This is a perfect for placing a mobile phone. Next one is this club box. It has a light and it is flat. Of course, a lot of storage here. So I've managed to start FM on this car after struggling for two minutes. Both hard. Both hard. So let's switch it off. For parking, you just have a button here. You don't have any levers. Of course, when you spend 40 lakhs, you get that as a standard. Okay. So that's how you can close it and use this space to keep things like this if, in case you don't want to keep anything inside. Otherwise, you can just open it like this. Now let's go to the back seat and see how it feels to the passenger. And I forgot to show you, these are motorized controls. Can you see this going flat? It becomes completely flat and you know, you can just sleep here like a business class seat controlled electronically. And same are the controls for the seat. Amazing. Back seat. My God very very spacious three people can comfortably sit here there are some controls for hooking on baby seats on both sides of course you will get an armrest here 
So you have a AC vent for the pillion as well as USB-C charger. Cup holders on the central armrest. These seats I know they completely fold back and you can easily increase your back storage space. For opening boot space you have a button here you just press and the boot opens. Hydraulic jacks on both sides will lift the boot space right up and you have sufficient storage space you can easily place 4-5 suitcases here. Not only that the seat itself folds back and storage space can be increased. What I haven't shown you is the front boot space. I have managed to unlock it. You have to press that lever twice in order to open the boot space. Once you do that, all you have to do is just lift it up and hydraulic jacks will take care of boot opening. So right here we can see the BMW twin power turbo engine. Apart from that, I have no idea what other things are. Are you really captain? But it, I have wasted few minutes to look for fuel tank opening lever or controls here. I watched a YouTube video and it says all you have to do is when the car is unlocked, press and that's how it opens. For closing, just press it again. How can I not show you this massive sunroof of this car? Open sunroof, you just have to press here. Isn't it amazing to be able to see outside from the roof? So now I can look outside. Let's close it. It's time to take this car for a short spin. First of all, seat belt. I am like a guest in this car but if you are owner of this car obviously all your side mirror settings, seat settings, you know how much distance and all that you can preset and save it in the system. All you have to do when you come for driving you just select your name and the, everything else will set up exactly the way you want. So you will not waste any time setting it up. feeling to be driving a BMW for the first time. I really appreciate it. Driving it on the highway for so long, I went up to 120, 130 speed. It's amazing. Pickup is instant. There's no lag. Cabin noise is very nice, very good for a diesel car. 